Welcome to Bus Driver Life. My name is Kiwan. I'm a bus driver. I've been driving buses for a long time. I've driven school buses and I currently drive public transit buses in the Sacramento, California area. In this video, let's look at four ways that passengers can drive your bus driver crazy. And I mean in the worst way possible. I'm talking about ways that you can irritate us and get on our last nerve. And of course, we have to remain professional. Let's look at a few of those things right now. So one way that you can annoy your bus operator, bus driver, while you are using public transportation, specifically the bus. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Is by playing loud music on the bus. You ain't lying. Now you are welcome to play music, just wear headphones or AirPods or earbuds, like wear something like that. But what do a lot of people choose to do? They will play the music from the speaker, the external speaker on their phone, or they will actually buy like a really loud subwoofer, deep bass driven external speaker and hook it up to their phone. And they will play their music as loud as they possibly can. And I'm like, we didn't hire a DJ. Even if it's a song that I personally like in that particular context, in that setting, we don't need the music to be loud. It can really be a distraction to the driver. You ain't lying. The second thing that you can do that will absolutely drive your bus operator crazy is if the bus driver is on a layover or a break or recovery time and they're on the bus maybe eating or just chilling, relaxing, maybe on the phone, something like that. It's their personal time to take a break and they're using the bus as their break room because most of the times bus drivers do not have any other options as far as a break space because we are driving a bus, a vehicle, we're mobile. Sometimes people will stare into the bus at the driver their entire break. Sometimes people will go from window to window along the side of the bus to try and see if they can spot the bus driver inside the bus and they will stand there and stare at the bus driver the entire time. It could be 10, 15, 20 minutes and they're just staring at the bus driver. And I'm just like, what is it that you are trying to accomplish by doing that? It's creepy, it's rude, it's inconsiderate. Just relax. When it's time for that bus to depart, the driver will board the passengers and you will be able to get to where you have to go. I understand people sometimes don't like standing outside, but it's the nature of you using public transportation. When I was a passenger, I had to be outside. I had to stand outside at the bus stop. Even if there was a bus shelter or a bus station, you are still gonna deal with being outside. It's just part of it. Number three, if you really wanna drive your bus driver absolutely crazy, don't have your bus fare ready. You ain't lying. There's so many times that a bus driver will pull up to the bus stop and not only is the person not paying attention or even aware that a bus is there, they'll look up at the last minute like, oh, there's the bus. I guess I should get up and get onto the bus that I'm waiting on. And then they'll get up and they'll have bags and stuff. And then they'll step on the bus and have absolutely no clue where they have put their bus fare. They don't know which pocket, purse, or bag that it's in. They're searching every pocket. They're, they're, they're looking up in the sky, trying to figure out, hopefully the information will load into their brain as to where they put their bus pass or their bus fare. And I understand sometimes when you're standing outside, you don't want to hold on to cash in your hand, but I'm just saying, at least know where the cash is at. Know that it's in your right pocket or it's in your wallet. Just know where it's at, at least, at the very least. So that once you get on the bus, we can move as fast as we possibly can so that we can keep the bus moving. So this is gonna be number four. This is something that's really irritating. And I'm gonna try my best to explain this because you may take it as, well, you're just being rude. Here it is. People will get on the bus and say, hey, is my bus behind you? And what we mean by that, let's say it's a bus stop that is served by multiple bus routes. So let's say bus route number two and bus route number three stops at this one bus stop. Of course, bus route number two and three are gonna go in different directions eventually. So I'm bus route number two. I pull up, the person at the stop is waiting for bus route number three and they're like hey is a uh, route number three behind you and i'm looking in my mirror it's like well i don't see a bus behind me i don't what do you mean is it you can look and see if it's behind me too no but what they're really asking is is bus number three going to be coming shortly and the thing is unfortunately a lot of times bus drivers are not able to memorize what time each and every single bus departs and arrives at each and every single location in the city or the state or the country or the world it seems that some people think that once a person becomes a bus driver all of this information is just magically downloaded into our brain where we just know what time every single bus arrives and departs and all that stuff but that's really not the case and that's not being rude because there's really no way realistically especially with medium to larger size transit systems for bus drivers to be able to memorize all of that information however there are lots of tools and resources available to you such as customer service whatever transit system agency that you're using you can always call customer service there 
there are various apps available as well where you can track transit buses trains all of that stuff and it will give you the timetables and help you to plan out your trip as well as the actual customer service line of the transit agency that you are looking to use other resources would be google maps they have transit directions or you can look on the website of the particular transit agency that you're trying to use and they generally will have some sort of schedule information for you to use so that you can know what time your bus is coming so what happens when a person asks us information like that like hey is the other bus behind you and i'm like i'm sorry i'm not sure people will say things like how do you not know you're the bus driver you're supposed to know if my bus is about to arrive and that's where the problem is it's not asking the bus driver a question he ain't lying. we are there to provide good customer service to you and to try and help you to find the answers to your questions however we don't have the answers to all of the questions so we may have to direct you to one of the resources that i just stated a few seconds ago and that will help you to find your answer but some people get upset at us about that they're like you're supposed to know i shouldn't have to call the customer service how did you not know? And it's like, well, I can't think of any time in my schedule that I would have to go and memorize thousands and thousands and thousands of bus timetables. It's just not realistic. So just before I wrap this up, I'll give you another bonus a bonus reason or way that you can just drive your bus operator crazy. And that's smoking on the bus, smoking marijuana, cigarettes, whatever. Just smoking on the bus. You're not supposed to smoke on the bus. And the fact that some people still do, and when you say something to them, they act surprised. Like, oh, what, what do you mean? I can't smoke. You're trying to infringe on my freedom. I can smoke wherever I want to smoke. It's, it's really, it's really weird. I've actually had people on my bus light up cigarettes and other paraphernalia. And when they're asked to stop or to remove them, themselves from the bus due to the fact that they feel the need to smoke they act shocked and upset as if you are saying something to them that is completely unreasonable something that just makes absolutely no sense so if you are someone that rides the bus let me know if you've seen any of these situations unfold before your eyes or have you been the one actually doing some of these things and to all my fellow bus operators out there i already know we've seen actually way worse way worse than what I'm actually talking about in this video, but this is just a good example of a few things that can drive a bus operator absolutely crazy. They will get on our nerves, it will irritate us and annoy us, and in some cases cause very unsafe conditions on the bus. But anyway, let me know what you all think in the comments below and make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching Bus Driver Life.